Hello Aquarius, this is Maria Lane and I am delighted to be sharing with you a December 2014 Oracle message. Happy New Year, Merry Christmas, it's the festive season, how exciting, I can't believe another year has almost disappeared but you know, it's what it is. As I've been saying lately, there is nothing beyond now, it's all we have so you know, um, I think if we can start to release this, this fear about um, time speeding up it's not really because like I said all we have is now so now a few things I'm calling upon these beautiful heart matter cards for all air sign readings and I'm also encouraging people this month if you feel inspired to listen to your rising sign or your moon sign feel free to do so if you're not sure what that is just google rising sign calculator and just follow the prompts it's very easy to do and um, I've heard I'm not quite sure how true it is but um, they say that your rising sign generally has more pull on your your essence than your actual sun sign. Your sun sign, to me, I, from my experience, um, gives us our personality traits, but our rising sign is perhaps more the essence of who we are, and then there's all these other planetary um, alignments, and it's quite interesting. In my household, I'm double Pisces, Pisces with a rising, um, and a moon in Capricorn. My daughter is a Sagittarius, with a double Gemini influence. She's got a rising and a moon in Gemini. So I'm thinking, oh, <laughs> isn't that interesting? Well, I think it is. Okay, so here we go. The first card I'm calling upon is, oh, trust. Okay, this is a lovely thing once we've mastered it. Learning to trust, learning to trust that, you know, you're always being guided in the right direction. And it's only when we resist that's when we're, we'll probably end up going down the wrong wrong path, so to speak. So I think that's the biggest life's lesson that we human beings have come into um, planet Earth to experience, to trust that things are always working out for us. And when we can develop that intrinsic knowing, wow, well, our life will be forever changed. Oh, dedicated effort. There we go. So... Um, if you start something and you feel inspired, follow it through. But remember, um, Rome wasn't built in a day. You know, it takes time and it's consistency. And you know, one day after another after another. And but it's um, enjoying the process, enjoying what unfolds, being excited about your creation. So I think that card is um, just a reminder for some of you who may feel a little uninspired at the moment. Don't give up yet. It's almost there. Just keep going a little bit longer. Oh, okay. Helpless and hopeless. Maybe some of you are feeling a little bit like that. Um, this card has come up before and I just want to say it is a choice. You are never alone. There's always help on offer. And what we need to do is to be mindful of A, we've got universal forces working on our side. And if you say, no, they're not, it's because you're not open to receiving that guidance. We have angelic and spirit beings around us all the time. But the best guidance I'd like to share with you is to learn how to tap into that emotional guidance that's coming from us always via source energy. That's how source speaks to us. So just be mindful if you are feeling a little bit like that. And what I would like to share is, go out and get some tree therapy or nature therapy and what do i mean go and sit by a tree feel that energetic recharge happening that energy exchange it happens by the um the ocean as well i think there's something beautiful about sea air but the other one is just visualize the best story i, I feel like i can share it's like a garden hose and at the moment if you're feeling helpless and hopeless you've got a big kink in that hose and your emotions aren't getting through to guide you so just see yourself straightening out that hose and allowing things to flow to you. Okay, here's one more card. Aquarius. Oh, look at this. The love move. You've got movement on the love front happening. What a beautiful card. So if you are feeling a little bit sad, just remember this card. It's all about love and I think it always starts with self-love. All of your um, external relationships reflect how you're feeling internally. So that's a beautiful card. That's coming your way. And here is your letting go card for 2014. So you can create some space, some incoming. Oh, letting go of being right. Here we go. 
Today I will realise that being myself and letting others be themselves is far more important than being right. Value and worth are not dependent on being right and I'm striving for love in my relationships, not superiority. I won't hide behind being right, but I'll just let myself be who I am. Gorgeous guidance. Okay, Aquarius, thank you so much again for your support during 2014 and I look forward to sharing more with you next year. Bye.